living in a very interesting period in the human continuum. I can say with certainty that the world has gotten more absurd. This is my last year in high school. That entire stint has really, really been long overdue. I'd go on about my days, which were pretty cyclical, but that would definitely be boring. I mean, take a look at this. This is going to blow your f***ing mind. These are my friends. That's uh, the one with the hook nose. Uh, that's the one that my grandpa thought was... Uh, this is the clique. This is the gang. I'm gonna tell... I gave the teacher you know, a pass to like film sh So like now I'm filming stuff. Oh. No, I can blur. Dude, I have Premiere Pro. There's blurring effects on me. I can blur people's effects. It's fair to say I overstayed my welcome. Number one rule of being me. No one likes you. Man, this really is a nice segue into the pressing matter. Isolation. With the internet's advent, it became more easy to leap out of the metaphorical stream of salmon. With the wealth of information and vast media intake us teenagers have grown up with, the impact of subtle influences in something as benign as the contents and kid watches and his iPad his parents got him for Christmas can make a variable difference down the line with implicit stratifications in the realm of our overall collective social dynamics. On a surface level observation, it's pretty cool that we've gotten to be somewhat interconnected in the phenomena that is the digital age with radio, cell phones, TV, it is ironic that despite our globalized milieu, phatic exchange is more tenuous. So basically, alienation is a common thing amongst millennials and especially us Zoomers, prompting the metaphysical Great Depression. You can't see those air quotes that I just put up. I mean, take a little listen to the stuff Bobby, Timmy, or Deshaun has in their playlist on Spotify. Lil Uzi, X, Lil Peep, etc. It's probably some sad songs about breakups. I knew things were weird when in my freshman year, that one song by Logic was bumping in my old school's weight room, like I could be listening to mid-90s industrial and DSBM, and get weird looks, but a trending song with similar subject matter doesn't get that reaction. It all really comes down to marketability and accessibility of the new wave that music producers see in their demographic, self-pity, and an exhaustion with modern life. We basically spend our days looking at glowing dopamine happy boxes and get disenchanted when things in reality are much different. This head and sand attitude to reality renders people fragile, which is why you see a lot of pious empty symbolism. Like, it's gotten so weird that the slightest thing caused social fragmentation. The rise of parasocial relationships that we form with others on the internet has stunted us in a way. So. To preface, things have always been kind of wonky as it is being a twerp in the mid-aughts, even putting aside the elephant in the room which I am going to get into. Really I've been focusing on trying to get better at my uh, art style, I'm trying to find my art style and another thing I've been trying to do is I've been trying to learn a little bit of game design with Unity and all that stuff. I've been trying to 3D model it as well. I've been trying a lot of different stuff to see what type of creative industry I want to go into, it, whether that be music, animation. It could be something as simple as storyboarding for shows and stuff like that. The internet uh, for people like, for adults specifically, it's a really great place to get information and stuff like that, but it is also a very, I would say, in my opinion, unsafe environment for children, especially nowadays, because exactly. there's a lot of weirdos, weirdos. people there. Yeah. It, it, like, it's inevitable. They're going to see some crazy shit. 